Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the new Genesis event, Unicorn Week. I had to look again, April 8 to April 15. It's gonna last for a whole week. And today we take a look at the event, the rewards, and I give you guys some tips to get quick fame. Let's do this. So first of all, the event description says, acquiring fame grants you tokens, which you can exchange with Big Red for rainbow filled rewards. And uh, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. This week, you gotta gain fame. So usually Genesis events are either PvP events or PvE events. But this week, it's a fame event. So you can do pretty much what you like. You play the modes that you wanna play because everything you do in Shadowgun Legends will give you fame. Now how it works is every 10,000 fame, you get one heart. And as you can see, I got four hearts right now on the top right of my screen and it's a bit of a grind depending how you play and how fast you play uh, to get fame first of all if you're good in pvp players always said that the best way to get fame is pvp if you're good so if you just hang around in pvp and you don't get many kills it's gonna be tough capture the flag is pretty bad right now unless you get all the caps i guess but it doesn't give much fame for kills Ascendancy is good because you get the trophies for extra fame. One thing you should keep in mind is the Fame Hunter missions from Hakim. The guy will give you four missions at once. You can take a look. I got a multi-kill opponent with a machine gun. So that's pretty easy. I could go in blue missions and do that. Now this next one's for PvP. Get five skills, kills. And then mob style, it's a pretty bad one. Get 50 headshots with a pistol. I'm probably gonna ignore that one. And MVP is for getting 50 kills in PvP. And these big ones at the bottom give you big chunks of fame. Now, if you're not too good in PvP, the best way to get quick fame, or one of the best ways, definitely look at these missions. Get five arenas, you get 5,000 fame. And do five dungeons, you get 5,000 fame. So the fastest one are the dungeons of course because arena is usually around 10 minutes or more depending on your squad but the dungeons if you farm brothers of fire with a good squad is four minute runs so every 20 minutes you get 5,000 fame that means 40 minutes you get one heart and it could go even faster than that because you get more fame while playing you don't just get that fame now before you go farming you should really try to get a fame boost the fame boost is the little thing on top of my screen it's green now look at the bottom turbo fame 37 minutes left it lasts an hour all you got to do is help a new player in a mission now to get that make sure your guide is turned to on you get the green check mark if you click on that it's going to turn a red x so if it's off you will not receive invites but if you turn it on and you do stuff it's gonna pop on your top left you're gonna have invites all the time but these fame invites are different they're different color they're yellow ish and when you see that make sure you accept right away it's usually low level players trying to get help in a mission so if you just help them and finish the mission you get a whole hour of fame boost now the other way to get quick fame is usually do your daily missions every day it's 3.75 thousand fame for one daily so that's seven plus thousand fame per day just for you doing your dailies the event will last seven days so you'll do that twice every day and i'm gonna open my neo crates today guys but we're at six point two thousand out of 10k let's grab the last one and i busted ten thousand fame because i got my fame boost i guess uh i guess it counted so all you gotta do is once you get ten thousand fame you go see big red and you're gonna get your heart here we go so i'm at five hearts right now and on i'm on the first day of the event as i'm recording this so check their rewards now they're at big red by the way and you got the a-hole killer it's back guys the a-hole killer it's an auto rifle it used to be uh, pretty popular in pvp first of all it's beautiful it's got rainbow it's got the unicorn and stuff it's got good stats also compared to nico bit less damage bit better fire rate and 35 in the clip is really good 
good accuracy, good range. It's a really nice weapon, and I'm 100% gonna buy one this week because I don't have one. It's pretty rare, by the way. It doesn't drop in dungeons, and it doesn't appear in the shop anymore. So it's tough to find, and that's funny because last week people were actually talking about it, and now it's the event reward. Uh, right now, as I'm recording this, there's only two rewards, a uh, rainbow or a unicorn sticker and a whole killer. So I thought we were going to have the unicorn hat. Maybe check the shop later today. Maybe it's just bug and they will add it. Like last week's event, the auto rifle was not in the shop at the first day of the event and it was added later. Now, one more thing and be careful. You have to kind of be aware is if you bust 10,000 fame, the extra fame will just go to waste for the event. It's probably going to be added to your total fame still. Now, the reason I say that is if you have a 5,000 fame mission ready to be claimed, but you're at like 9,000 something, if you claim your 5,000, 4,000 of it is going to go to waste. And that's a pretty big waste. So what I would say is don't claim it if you're close to 10k. Just play another dungeon or something or I don't know, a blue mission or whatever and get to 10,000, claim your mission from Big Red then start a new one and then claim your 5,000 because you're just gonna waste way too much and be aware while you play and same thing again, try to complete your 10,000 when you're close to it before you grab something big, like a daily mission for example. So we got a bunch of stuff to open guys today. First of all, I got a strong box. I got that today uh, during my daily missions, I think. So I'm going to use a key for that. And then we open the two Neo crates. So strong box first. Usually I have everything, so it's going to be Pedro tokens. So we're going to spin the wheel, but let's go with the Neo crates. Once again, I have all the weapons except one. And anytime I get gear, I'll be happy. If I can get good gear, it would be awesome. So we have a pistol. Not so good because I have it already. And they're not great, by the way, the Neo weapons. They're legendary rarity, but not so great. Uh, this is another pistol. So today is not a good day, but we still got the lucky will. I hopefully will be lucky. Let's do this one more time. Two spins. Yeah, we got two tokens. So let's go for one. Cosmetic, please. Yeah, Seer Helmet. I already have it. It's what I'm wearing right now. That's the funny thing. I love this hat, by the way. Last token. Oh, I don't have that. What? Dude, this is insane. I have so many cosmetics, guys. Like, the odds that I'll get something I don't have. And i really, really hyped for real. I'm really hyped right now. I've been lucky lately getting stuff I don't have. And by the way, what I said is I'm already wearing the seer hat. I love this hat. I have two. One is a purple rarity and one is common. And I want to keep my paint on it. So that's why I might keep the next one. But that night in Rio. Bruh. This is insane. And look at this shit, dog. This is so sick. Like, who wears that? A bunch of fruits on your head. But I love it, and it goes with the, I guess, the surfboard back and stuff. But I'm not gonna wear it like that, because I'm serious today. Yeah, back with the seer hat. So that's it, guys. You have a whole week to get at least 10 hearts, because you need the a-hole killer in your collection. It's an awesome weapon. And 10 hearts, it's a bit of a grind if you don't play a lot. But it's not impossible, because like I said, I got 5 today, and I didn't play that much. Do your dailies. Look for hacking missions, look for fame boost, and then just play, guys. PvP for fun or if you're good. Ascendancy is great. If not, if you just want to be efficient, Brothers of Fire, Brothers of Fire, Brothers of Fire. And look my video guide in the description. It's a Brothers of Fire speed farming guide. You know all the tips in the video, and it's going to make your runs much faster. So good luck, guys. Leave me a comment below if you like the new event, and hopefully we'll get the unicorn hat. Uh, tomorrow or later this week so that's it hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe for more shadowgun legends news gameplay guys i will be back soon till then watch my other videos take care 9.3 flush this better be seven my boy this better be seven. Oh yeah baby seven flush this is 10k flush now check it out okay this is a heart so that's gonna be three hearts
Wait for it. Wait for it. Now I need 10,000 fame. How am I gonna get 10,000 fame? It's gonna take forever. Okay, this is five. Perfect timing. This is five. Oof. That took a while. 